now can you sit up straight with your feet flat on the floor hands resting on your knees with your spine straight as we begin I'm going to ask you to take a few very deep, very slow breaths, drawing air in through your nose. And as you inhale slowly and steadily, I want you to imagine drawing energy from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head and let your energy follow your awareness and let the breath be your intention to change your energy pulling the mind out of the body now I want you to take your time and take one very deep very slow breath and as you inhale through your nose I want you to draw energy from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head and hold it at the top of your head with the intention of pulling the mind out of the body and hold it at the top of your head and as you exhale now Just relax. Again now, another very deep, very slow breath in through your nose. And as you inhale now, like drawing fluid up a straw, pull the energy from your body all the way to your brain and hold it at the top of your head and let this energy follow your awareness and hold it. And as you exhale now, relax. Last one now. One very deep, very slow breath. And as you inhale through your nose, I want you to draw that energy from your body up your spine all the way to your brain and hold it at the top of your head with the intention of pulling the mind out of the body and hold it As you exhale now, relax. And 
as you sit there in your chair, can you imagine warm water beginning to rise in the room that you're in? First, as it covers your feet and ankles, feel the warmth of this water on your feet as they are immersed and feel the water around your feet. As the water begins to move higher now, up past your calves and shins, right below your knees, can you feel the weight of your legs from just below your knees? down through your calves and shins to your feet, immersed underwater. Now, can you let yourself relax as the water reaches your knees and begins to rise over your thighs? As the warmth surrounds your thighs, Feel your hands immersed in this warm water. Feel the warmth consume your wrists and your forearms. And move in your inner thighs. And can you feel your lower extremities immersed in the warmth of this water? become aware of this soothing water as it encircles your buttocks, your groin, your inner thighs, to the small of your back.
then as the water rises all the way up to your waist, can you feel it submerge your forearms and elbows? As the water continues to climb above your belly button to your solar plexus, notice as it moves halfway up your arms. sense the weight of your body immersed up to your rib cage under the warm liquid and can you feel it consuming your arms and can you notice your body submerged underwater relaxed the water to encircle your chest and move across your shoulder blades and can you feel the weight of your body immersed in this warm water all the way up to your chest As the water rises all the way up to your neck, allow it to cover your shoulders. And from your neck down, feel the weight and density of your body immersed under this warm liquid. Now as the water moves up, 
past your neck. Feel the column of your neck up to your chin, immersed underwater. Allow the soothing water to move up over your lips and around the circumference of your head. And as it rises over your upper lip and over your nose, relax and let it consume you so that the warmth of the water is now right below your eyes and feel the weight of your body relaxed in the soothing warm water. Allow the water to rise above your eyes now and feel everything below your eyes immersed in this warm liquid. Feel it move up around your forehead, above the crown of your head. And as the circumference gets smaller and smaller, Allow it to move finally above your head. And now surrender into this warm, relaxing water and allow yourself to feel your body in its weightlessness, embraced by this water. And allow your body to float, relaxed and immersed in this liquid Can you feel the volume of water around your body and the space that your body is in underwater, the space between your fingers, the 
around your head. Around your neck and shoulders. Right in front of your chest. In the space just outside your shoulder blades down your spine around your thighs above and below your feet Can you let your awareness take in the entire room submerged underwater and the space that this water occupies in the room? Can you sense the space that is filled by the room consumed by water And for a few moments now, just feel your body floating in space. a power within you that's giving you life that wants to leak out which loves you so much and when your will matches its will when your mind matches its mind when your love for life matches its love for you it always responds. It will move in you. It will begin to move through you. And it will move all around you. And you will see evidence in your life as a result of your efforts. be greater than your environment, to be greater than the conditions in your life, to be greater than the feelings that are memorized in your body, to think greater than the body, to be greater than time means that you're tugging on the garment of the divine. Your destiny then is a reflection of a co-creation with a greater mind. We are creators. We are divine. Love yourself enough to do this. There is greatness within you. Now, 
you cannot go to the future and create a new destiny holding on to the emotions of the past. What was that emotion that you wanted to unmemorize? Remember what that emotion feels like in your body. Simply recognize what it is that you want to change about yourself. And in sincerity now, what was that familiar state of mind that was driven by that emotion, that attitude, that belief about yourself and your life that no longer supports you? Now it's time to turn to this power within you and introduce yourself to it and tell it what you want to change about yourself. Begin to admit to it who you've been, what you've been hiding. And in your mind now, talk to it. Remember that it is real. This universal mind within you already knows you. It doesn't judge you. It only loves. Can you say to it, universal consciousness within me and all around me, I surrender this condition to you. Give it up. Can you say to it, universal consciousness within me and all around me, I admit to you who I've been, that I truly want to change from this limited state of being. And now, it's time to free the body from the mind, to close the gap between how you appear and who you really are, to liberate your energy, release your body from the familiar emotional bonds which keep you connected to everything and every place and everyone in your past and present reality. This is the moment to free up your energy, 
I want you to open your mouth and say that emotion you want to change out loud and liberate it from your being, from your body as well as your environment. Simply say it now and declare who you no longer want to be. to surrender the state of being to a greater mind and ask it to resolve it in a way that is right for you. Can you relinquish control to a greater authority that already has all the answers? Surrender to this infinite mind and understand that this intelligence is absolutely real. It only waits in admiration and willingness. It only responds when you sincerely ask for help. Surrender your limitation to an all-knowing intelligence and ask it to resolve it in a way that's just right for you. Simply open the door, give it up and let it go completely. Let it take your limitation from you. Infinite mind, I give you this emotion. I ask that you take it from me and resolve it into a greater sense of wisdom free me from the chains of my past. Now just feel how you would feel if you knew this mind was taking this memorized emotion from you. Let go. Let's make sure that no thought, no behavior, no habit, which causes you to return back to the old self, goes unnoticed by you again. It's time to become so familiar with the old self. To make sure, let's become conscious of those unconscious states of mind and body. How did you used to think when you felt that way? What did you say to yourself? What voice did you believe that you no longer want to accept as your reality? Simply observe those thoughts and become familiar with them.
simply observe and remind yourself how you no longer want to think. What thoughts do you no longer want to put your energy behind? become so familiar with them that they will never go by unnoticed by you again. Begin to separate yourself from those old programs. And how did you behave when you felt that way? How did you speak? Become conscious of those unconscious states to such an extent that they would never go by unchecked by you again? As you begin to observe the old self, it means you're no longer the program, but the consciousness observing the old you, that's who you really are. Remind yourself who you no longer want to be. How you no longer want to act. What choices were never loving to you. As you begin to observe the old self, you begin to objectify the subjective mind. To begin to observe the program means you are no longer the program. Awareness is your goal. Now once more I want you to remind yourself who you no longer want to be, how you no longer want to think, how you no longer want to behave, how you no longer want to feel. Just become completely familiar with all aspects of the old personality and just observe it. firm intention, make a choice to no longer be that person, and let the energy of your decision become an experience that is unforgettable, and allow it to begin to rewrite the program. Make the choice 
a memorable experience. Now it's time to play the change game and to redirect your consciousness to a new future. I'm going to give you three scenarios in your life where you could start to feel like the old self again. And when you do, I want you to say change. In the first situation, I'm going to say change. In the second situation, I want you to say change with me. In the last situation, I want you to say change by yourself. So this becomes the loudest voice in your head. First imagine that it's morning and you're in the shower. And as you're getting ready for your day, all of a sudden you notice that familiar feeling just starting to come up. And the moment you notice it, what do you do? You say change. That's right, you change it. Because living by that survival emotion was never loving to you. And it's no use signaling the same genes in the same way, causing you to head to your genetic destiny. And when you change it, nerve cells that no longer fire together, no longer wire together. That's right. You control that. Now this time, I want you to play change with me. It's the middle of the day, and you're driving down the road. And suddenly that familiar feeling that drives those familiar thoughts starts to come up. And the moment that you notice that feeling come up, what do you do? You change, that's right, you change it. Because the rewards of being healthy and happy are so much more important than returning back to the old self. And by the way, living by that emotion has never been loving to you. And every time you change your state, you know that nerve cells that no longer fire together, no longer wire together, and you no longer turn on the same genes in the same way, and the old you biologically begins to change. And now I want you to play the change game one more time. This time, you say change out loud by yourself. I want you to see yourself. You're getting ready for bed. And as you're pulling the covers back and you start to get in bed, you notice that familiar feeling just starting to come up. And it's tempting you to behave as the old personality. And the moment you notice it, what do you do? You 
say change, that's right. Because nerve cells that no longer fire together, no longer wire together. And by you living by that emotion again, means you would be signaling the same genes in the same way. And that's not loving to you. Nobody and nothing is worth it. And you control that. time to create a new future. It's time to change your energy. It's time to move from the old self to the new self. And what is the greatest expression of yourself that you can be? How would a great person think? What would they say to themselves? How would they act? How would such an individual live? How would he or she love? What does greatness feel like? Can you teach your body emotionally what it feels like to be this ideal? I want you to move into a new state of being. It's time to change your energy and broadcast a whole new electromagnetic signature. When you change your energy, you change your life. So let the thoughts that you're thinking become the experience and let that experience produce an elevated emotion so that your body begins to emotionally believe that that future you is already living now. Who do you want to be when you open your eyes? As you signal the body emotionally ahead of the actual event, I want to remind you that you're turning on new genes in new ways, and you're firing and wiring new circuits, creating a new level of mind. Just allow yourself to fall in love with this new ideal. Open your heart and begin to recondition your body to a new mind. And when mind and body are one and physically changed, to look like the experience has already happened, you are in a new state of being. So let the inward experience produce an emotion that becomes a mood and then a temperament and finally a new personality.
on, you can't get up as the same person who sat down, move into a new state of being. How would you feel if you were that person? And let those feelings drive your thoughts, motivate your behaviors. You have to feel so much gratitude that your body begins to change ahead of the actual event and accept that this new ideal is already you. Remember, gratitude means it's already done. Just simply become it. Can you teach your body what it feels like to be empowered, to be free? To be unlimited? To be creative? To be genius? To be divine. Can you teach it what it feels like to have all your needs met? That the universe is in favor of you? What would that feel like? This is who you really are. Once you feel this way, memorize this feeling. This is who you really are. Remember this new state of being that you're broadcasting a whole new electromagnetic signature that it matches the potential that already exists in the quantum field. Simply tune in to your destiny. Now let go and release it into the field for a moment. Just let go and allow a greater mind to begin to execute the details for you. It's not your job to try to create it. It's your job to design it. just like those piano players who change their brains and the finger exercisers who change their bodies we have to rehearse it again we have to be able to call this up on command can you create your new self out of nothing one more time come on let's fire and wire a new mind 
and recondition the body to a new emotion and become familiar with this new state of mind and body. Once again, what is the greatest expression of yourself? Pick a potential that already exists in the quantum field and live that future now and allow yourself to begin to think and feel like this new ideal again. Cultivate a new mind and body and move into a new state of being. And as you change your energy, I want you to remind yourself what you do want to say to yourself. How would you walk? How would you breathe? How would you move? How would you live? What would you feel? Allow yourself to emotionally feel like this new personality so much so that you begin to move into a new state of being and memorize this feeling come on this is who you really are Can you broadcast a whole new electromagnetic signature? Open your heart and remember what it feels like to be this future you now. Who do you want to be in your future? And if you can feel it, you're signaling new genes in new ways, changing your body ahead of the environment. Come on, feel empowered one more time. Move into a new state of being. And a new state of being is a new personality. And a new personality creates a new personal reality. Now this is where you create a new destiny. From this elevated state of mind and body, it's time to command matter. You as the quantum observer can observe your new destiny. From this state of invincibility, empowerment, inspiration and joy, I want you to begin to see what that future looks like and bless it with this energy. And because you're creating with your own energy, you are entangled to this future. From this new state of being, form a picture of some event you want to experience and let the images come and they will become the blueprint of your destiny, of your future. 
observe that reality and allow the particles to move from waves of probability to collapse into an event called an experience in your life. Simply concept it, see it, command it, hold it. Align with the greater mind and then move to the next picture. Don't judge it. Don't analyze it. Simply see it as your new destiny. Live that future now and let your energy become entangled to that reality. That future event has to find you because you created it with your own energy. Simply let yourself go and create the future you want with certainty, with trust, with knowingness and feel connected to something greater. From a state of gratitude, be one with your destiny from this new state of being and give thanks for a new life and just feel how you would feel when these things manifest because living in a state of gratitude is living in a state of receivership and feel like your prayers are already answered. And when you do, you're broadcasting a signal that your future has already happened.
finally, it's time to turn to that power within you. The giver of life and ask for a sign in your life today. That if you made contact with it, and you emulated this greater mind as a creator, and that it's been observing your efforts and your intentions, that it should show cause in your life so that you know that it is real, that it exists, and that you have a two-way communication with it. Ask that this sign from the quantum field come in a way that you least expect, that surprises you, and that it leaves no doubt that this new experience has come from this universal mind, so that you're inspired to do it again. I want you to ask it for a sign now. When you're ready, you can move your awareness back up to a new body in a whole new environment and in a brand new line of time. And when you're ready, you can bring your awareness back up to beta consciousness. Then you may open your eyes.